I think a symphony orchestra spends more time tuning up than it does playing. <laughs> I appreciate your coming by, George. You, uh, sounded worried. I am. Tell me, uh, what's worrying you? Hmm, Bianca Bellina. One of the world's great prima donnas. Correction, the world's greatest prima donna, by her own admission. <laughs> She's appearing with the symphony? Our next concert. She's singing the soprano part in Mahler's fourth. Thought she was uh, strictly an opera singer. Most of the opera companies in the world are suing her, so she's available. So uh, you're expecting trouble? Well, trouble seems to follow her. Since you're the Symphony Association's attorney, I felt I should alert you. You want me to stand by? Well, more than that, George, I want you to meet Belina when she arrives. I thought if you could make our position clear from the outset, maybe we might avoid the usual trouble. Well, uh, won't she resent that? Well, you have to be tactful, George, firm but friendly. I should warn you that according to reports, there is no in-between with Belina. At first sight, she either hates you or she falls in love with you. <laughs> Great. Either I have trouble with a prima donna or with my wife. <laughs> Brought to you by... Hazel, would you add toothpaste and bobby pins to your shopping list, please? Oh, this ain't my shopping list. This is a list of my candidates. <laughs> Playing politics? Well, you know, I ain't picked an escort to the bowling league ball yet. Oh, well, time's running out, isn't it? Yeah, they're all nice, but... You know, there ain't nothing special. <laughs> well, I know you, Hazel. And uh, after you've made your mind up, you'll have a lovely time, whomever it is. <laughs> Two out of three. <laughs> Bonus Hazel. Enzo Martelli, I just can't believe it. Hazel, Hazel, to say, to say belle que bye. Even when I don't know what you're saying, I like it. <laughs> you have forgotten the Italian we studied together? No, well, you've been gone for a long time. Oh, see, but you received my letters. Oh, sure. <laughs> and I have yours. You write very well. Oh, well, uh, I just write down whatever comes into my uh -huh. head. Uh, why didn't you tell me you were coming? Oh, there is no time. At the very last moment, my brother Giorgio, he decides to come with me, and there is much to be done. And then I remember, you rises. <laughs> tell me, Hazel, it is a good surprise for you that I am back. Oh, bono. Molto bono. <laughs> so your brother came with you, huh? Yes, and you will like Giorgio. At the present time, he speaks no English. Well, if he's like you, he'll learn soon enough. <laughs> well, sit down and tell me all about your trip. I would like to hear very much what you have been doing, but today, uh, mi dispiace, I, I, I cannot stay. I only wanted to see you and let you know I am here. <laughs> well, I'm glad it wasn't a day later, because our bowling league is, is given a ball a week from today. And, and, and it's in honor of the city champions. That's my team. <laughs> Meraviglioso. Well, m maybe you would escort me to the dance, huh? An honor and a pleasure. Oh, <laughs> swell. <laughs> But I will see you before then. You're perhaps free Tuesday night? Well, sure, if you don't make it too early. Say about 7.30? Very. And now I must go. Oh, Enzo, how do you say glad to have you back in Italian? Bentornato. Bentornato, Enzo. <laughs> Grazie. Arrivederci till Tuesday night. Arrivederci. 